Hey guys, Script here. Uh, in this video, I will do a tutorial on how to build my farm store that I use. Uh, it'll cost between two to three million, depending on what flooring you use, roofing, what you want to sell, um, and if you have the more land game pass or not. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is choose whatever tile you want, except for grass. I'm going to use marble in this case, but it doesn't matter because we'll be deleting it. You want to build out 29 squares and then delete up to just this little 2x2. Two two. So this would be what the 28th and 29th squares. And that is the center of your store. So. Then what you want to do is you want to come to either side, doesn't matter, and build out a 12 by 12 square. And you want to do this for all four sides. 12 by 12, 12 by 12, and then 12 by 12. And this will give you a 24 by 24 square. And this is going to be the base and where you're going to sell all your items. Next, what you want to do is come to infrastructure and get your parking spots. You're going to line the edge with parking spots all the way around. Just like that. So your store should be looking something like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come to walls, grab the sliding doors, and we're just going to place them all along the edges just like this. once you've done that choose either just a normal wall or you can choose a big window and you're gonna want to put three here leaving a little space and then you're gonna want to cover the entire back of the parking spots put another three here another three here leaving and then you want to put walls covering the backs of these parking spots Another three, another three, leaving that space. Cover the backs, leave the space. And then you want to connect this side to that side. And now in the little spaces, you're going to put employee only doors. So that way you can access, you can go into your store and customers won't leave through these doors for some reason. So that means they will only stay in this area. So next, you want to come to infrastructure again, and you want to grab the security gates and put them just in between the sliding doors. So not on the little glass here, just in front of the actual doors. Okay, now once you've done that, you want to come to decoration, and generally you can use whatever decor you want. You can use uh, flower pots or the small planters. You can use uh, the bushes. Anything that will cover one space. So I'm going to use the potted plants because I like them. So you want to put a potted plant in each of these corners, and then for in between. The gates you can either put two potted plants you can put uh, a bush um, you could put planters if you want i think i'm going to use planters just because they give 15 decor um, you could also put hanging plants if you want to um, but i'm going to use planters here okay now that you've done that you want to do next is grab some hanging plants and you want to just line this entire edge with them it'll be in front of the gates and planters you just want to put them all along the edge so that way we get maximum decor in here and hopefully that rating will not go down okay so once you've done that you want to find the middle of the store again 
So you want to come out from either side. Doesn't matter which side. You want to come out 11, 11, 11, and then 11, and then where they all meet, right here. This will be your middle, so replace it with a, a different different tile than what's over here. So since these are marble, I will use, I'll just use wood. And then you can change these back to whatever they were. So that marks the middle of the store. Now what you want to do is, if you're a beta player, you want to put your statue here, or if you're a non-beta player, you can put a fountain here. It gives 10 less than the statue, but it still works just as efficiently. So for this video, I'm just gonna put the statue here. So now what you wanna do is come to customer service, choose the checkout register, and you wanna put it in this pattern. Two, three, four, just like that. And that's where your four cashiers will go. Now you want to come to shelving and you want to grab the spinning display for the tanks and put it right there, making sure it is one, two, two from the, the planter over here or whatever else you used and two from the pots, the, the potters or whatever, whatever you used. And you want to repeat for the other side right there. should be nice and even. So that's the tanks done. Now we're gonna put the floor displays, the two by six floor displays for the uh, military trucks. It's gonna go just like this, two from this side, two from that side. And you want them facing outward, just like that. And we're gonna do the same on this side. So two from this side, two from that side. Flip it, boom. So now for the ammo and guns, going to take some shelves and you can just place them pretty much however you want just so it's nice and spacey still so I think I am gonna go with just a simple one of those might not be even on both sides but it's nice and spacey so that will be ammo and then you want to grab your armored cabinet and I think we'll put it on this side yeah, just like that. So that's all the shelves done. So now we're gonna put in our finance reps. So you wanna grab the one that says finance rep, because you don't want our managers coming in here. And you're gonna put one here, one here. And the nice thing about the finance reps desks, or the desks with the chairs, is that customers won't be blocked by them, so they can just walk right through. So it's really only the desk that can block customers. So we'll put two there, and then we'll do the same on this side. So two there, two there. Total of four finance reps. Now for the inside, you can do kind of whatever design. You can just leave them like this if you wanted to. I did. I think I did a design uh, something like this. But you can do pretty much whatever you want because it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, oops. Because it'll still work the same no matter what. But that's what I did. You can just leave it like this. You can just put these around if you want. I, th I used to do this and I still think it looks nice. Oops. So you can do whatever design you want. So now, going up to the second floor, what you want to do is put tiles of any kind, because things people won't walk up here. You want to cover the parking spots first. So cover those little boxes on each side. And then, you want to put two here, and just extend that all the way around. So it's a two by two going all the way around. And that way it looks nice because they hang 
pots aren't just floating, the flower pots. And now for up here, you can either cover in this whole thing and fill this entire area with storage, or what I like to do is I like to leave it open because then it just looks nicer instead of having just a compact, you know, little store. So I'm gonna do it how I designed it in my, uh, how my store is designed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to walls. I'm just gonna fill in this little area. And for up here, you can put storage all along. Actually, I'll wait, because it's going to be time lapse. Now for up here, you can put storage up here if you wanted to. So, I don't know, make it look nicer. Put something like that on each side. Or you can put your money trees up here, which is how I had it, and you could put your storage somewhere else. Which in my store, I have it all along here, but if you wanted to do that, you would need the more land. So this works just as well. And then you can put, if you want, you can put edge pieces around here, you can put railings, doesn't really matter, I'll put railings, so it looks nice. Let's give it some decor by putting pillars, even though it doesn't matter because customers don't go up here. And then coming to the roof, I am going to put, I'm going to fill this entire thing with glass. So we have a skylight view. And then I like to put the, or put uh, edge pieces along the edge. Makes it look nice. And that's pretty much it. Um, oh, for security, you want to come to come to ceiling, and then for cameras, I like to have my cameras like this. Put a dome ninety in each corner, just like so. And then I like to put dome 180s just barely overlapping. So just like that. So it overlaps a little here and a little here. They're above, in between, whatever you put here. So they're in, in the middle of my planters. And you want to do that for each side. So come over here, just barely overlapping the, the 90 degree angle and bam. So that way it's efficient and cost effective too. But if you're building this, then you probably have a lot of money. So again on this side, just like that. So that covers, oh, forgot this side. Just like that. So that covers the outer edges of your store. So now for the inside, what we can do is we can Fill this in with a 4x4 four four. and to make it look nice I'm going to put some pillars here so it doesn't look like it's just a floating floor and you can put a dome 360 in the middle and if you wanted to you can put some dome 90s on the edges right here. that way it's covering almost your store almost your entire store um, for me this seems to work but if you want it to cover your entire store you can if you wanted to if you did this design you can just put some tiles up here and you can put another security cam in here dome 360 right in the middle covers that and then if you want to you can put some more tiles right over here and you
you can put one dome 360 in the middle. And then pillar up there. Same with this guy over here on the second floor. Put a tile in the middle of the spinning display. 360 camera. And then put a pillar. And then for these guys, we can just put a little 2x2 two two above in the middle, just like that. And then you can put 360 there, 360 there, and then pillar there, pillar there. Do the same for this side. Middle. That's not in the middle. In the middle. This should be easier to see. Just in the middle like that. Grab your pillar. There, there. And then put a camera here and here. And now, that covers pretty much your entire story. You can do the same for the shelves if you want. And you can do the same for this finance rep area. But this pretty much covers your entire story. You shouldn't have that many robbers escape if you have it like this. So then you can buy your equipment. Oh, actually. So for delivery drivers, you can actually, if you wanted to, you could put them right here. You could put a garage door there and garage door there garage door here and here here and here and lastly here and not there but here because they can actually it doesn't matter if there are parking slots here they can still go there but if you didn't want to do that you can just put them over on this side instead um, on my design I have it so that they uh, unload kind of like this. I think I have it here and then I have this extended out. But so you can do that. You can do whatever you want because we use semis or if you have the electric semi, um, you can use that as well. And it gives them plenty of space because for the semi, you need a three by 16. No, that's way too high. Three by 12, I think. I believe it is so let's hire some first let's hire four cashiers oops hire 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 we can hire four restockers um, for managers you can just have them set up outside here if you wanted to. I think that's what I'll do for this. Again, in mine, I have it set up. I have that giant uh, storage area going around and my managers are in there. But if you're running low on money, you can just throw them there and then give them a cool little room. I don't know, like this. And you can just add some walls. Something like that. And then of course, a roof. And then you can put like a big tree or something right here. So that way it looks nice. You can do that on all four sides if you want. So we're gonna hire our managers. I use four, but you can use however many you need. You can use one, two, three, whatever. Um, I think I have eight guards I believe might have been nine so we'll hire that many four delivery drivers and then four so that's still a delivery driver four finance reps so there we go so now we're gonna stock our shelves so we can do some Bradley Bradley military vehicles also always make sure you stock your registers with candy because customers won't actually come in wanting them so they'll still come in wanting something else here but they can 
uh, pick them up as they're standing in line for checkout. So it's just an extra free money, more free money trees. So here we go. Um, there's the ammo, just like that. And then the armored cabinets, go handgun, assault rifle, sniper, and we'll go with another assault rifle. So just like that. So now, so now, as you can see, the managers are buying. Um, where are they? And they are set on the default 125. Never want to use, well, I don't recommend instant delivery just because of the plus 25% fee. Uh, I think you might as well just pay for delivery drivers and wait for them to go and pick it up because it's a lot simpler that way. And you can check to see what your delivery drivers are doing. If you sign them a truck, I need to buy some trucks, so I will go do that real quick. Okay, so I've just bought some electric semis for my delivery drivers. So give them that. So it says this guy is going to the uh, loading dock. These guys are going to the loading dock, so they're going to pick up all, all this stuff that my managers have bought that is sitting at the loading dock. Keep in mind if you don't use instant delivery, that's where the stuff goes. It goes, it sits at the loading dock until you or delivery drivers go and pick it up and bring it back. Um, and once you get some money or if you have some money left over, There we go. And one of these, uh, you only need one of these because once you have 100 signage, that's it. It doesn't stack. You can't stack two 90s or however many uh, 100s you could put. But I like to use more just because it looks nice. So I'll usually just put one on each side, just like so. Just like that. And now uh, you're pretty much done. So just I'll come in here so you can make sure everything looks right. Should look something like this. Got your tanks on the sides. Um, looks like I haven't restocked it yet. So now I'm going to open the store. And as you can see, my delivery driver is unloading right there and just kind of sitting there, but he won't block customers. Customers come in, they need loans, usually. Let's see. He's approved. Now he can go and buy the, uh, the guns. And you can also use this layout uh, to farm money trees. So, for example, toys, you can just put shelves in here, kind of like how I did the ammo, but just a bunch of these and just sell those. And after time, you'll make some money trees from that. And money trees boost your profits by 2%. So essentially they just make you more money. <laughs> as they should, they are called money trees after all. Um, and if you're confused on what 2% profit means, it means, so the profit of toys is 25 because you buy them for 20 and you sell them for 45. So you make $25 from that. So 2% of 25, is 0.5 so money trees would give you an extra 0.5 for every toy sold so once you start racking them up like i have 381 money trees so 0.5 times 381 i make an extra 190 from toys so add that add the 45 on top of that i make 235 per toy that's how much they sell for but uh 
and I spend 20, so really I'm only making about 215 from them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any more questions, you can uh, comment them down below. Um, I'll try to reach everyone as soon as possible. Um, or you can contact me in the Secondhand Studio Discord. I'm fairly active there, so you should be able to get a hold of me. Um, I'm just going to do a quick fly around, make sure everything looks right. This is what it should be looking like. Um, as you can see, I have a 5.0 rating. This is what the decor looks like. Crowdedness, decor, shelter, it's all good. Um, and up here, the storage, everything looks good signs and you can decorate this however you want like I said I put a giant like storage area all around I think it looks nice but you can just leave it open like this you can put money trees all along the floor be creative with it yeah so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed um, and I'll catch you in the next video